All right, so this is uh, episode eight of the Sab Powers podcast. Here with a good friend of mine, comedian Tim Patton, everybody. <laughs> How's it hey, going, man? Hey, good, good, good. It's uh, it's crazy. It, this is this is bonkers and completely berserk. Uh, I've never lived through a thing like this, and I've lived through a lot of stuff. Um, getting a little older than the rest of the kids, uh, mm-hmm. but yeah, this is this is just uh, this is the most surreal experience of my entire life. And it's, yeah, uh, same, bro. I, I never it's, thought I'd have to deal with something like this. You know, it didn't even it, cross my mind ever. Yeah, I mean, it's it's so strange. Not like I was never like a big going out person or anything like that. But as you know, I was always trying to get adult activities that are like I'm comedy because it was like an adult activity. It was some fun thing to do, and you know, you hang out with people. All stuff like that but i was never like a huge going out all the time guy but mm-hmm. now like you, you just you don't even understand like just simple stuff like going to the store right it's like oh i'm gonna go to the store and the yeah. can't go to the store. you go to the store you're gonna get covid and die like i mean yeah. you're gonna kill your grandparents you're gonna kill uh every person you've ever met uh and you're gonna go on a government watch list and you're like oh shit okay i'm not gonna buy cheetos fine <laughs> yeah okay. exactly yeah. <laughs> i'll tell you though i I feel that like I've never eaten this good in my life. Like I'm actually eating proper meals every day. Like I eat breakfast. I drink water. I, you know, I haven't had, I haven't actually had a drink of alcohol in like a month. It's terrible. Wow. Terrible. I've been drinking alcohol every single day. I'm even drinking a little (laughs) bit of wine right now, but uh, I haven't eaten fast food, which is good (laughs) in a long time. I have one pizza day. I have one pizza day every two weeks. That's my that's my thing. Like I gotta order pizza. I order Domino's for some reason. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why. Because I'm like thinking, well, what's more likely to kill me, the COVID or the Domino's? And it's a toss up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's like, do you send them an e-transfer and then they like leave it on your porch? How does that work? Mm. <laughs> no, you um, you just order it and they just they just drop it off. You're like you pay with the credit card and you just drop it off. Oh, okay, and cool. Just, like cool, leave yeah. it out front. They just like some some guy comes, he just leaves. It's just like you get everything delivered now. Like I get my groceries yeah. delivered, so it's just like they just drop that shit off and it's good. Damn, my parents just go out and do all that shit, so I don't really know. I'm just chilling <laughs> in my room all the time. Well, yeah, that's the advantage, <laughs> right? The advantage is you you're living with your parents, so they're like yeah. taking care of most of all the infrastructure, the nitty gritty. How how is that? Like I I have a roommate, which is fine. Like he's he's got my age, so it's not that big of a deal. But like, how is it living with your parents? in a pandemic I, that's my question to you i, I want to know what it's like because for me i know what my situation is like it's actually not that bad because i like my parents are pretty chill they give me wine all the time and uh i go for cigarettes with my mom you know what i mean so it's nice that i'm like actually still get some human interaction even though it's like my parents but whatever yeah that's good it's better it's than guy. being like in, in my own place i think i don't know uh I think after a while, at first you're like, oh man, this sucks. You know, I just want to go out or everything like that. And then you're like, oh, but I'm by myself. It's fine. And you're like, yeah, it's good. It's good. And then you're like, oh my God, I've just been here by myself for a month. Like, what am I doing? It's like, this is, yeah. this is as close as you get to human interaction. It's basically like, hey man, you want to come on my podcast? And you're like, oh fuck, whatever. I got nothing better to do. Than to do. Yeah, exactly, bro. That's the whole reason like, I'm even doing this. 100%. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> for sure like that's the whole reason i started youtube i was just so bored i was like man i got it and i got this like itch to scratch right this comedy itch i guess that used to get scratched by like doing shows and shit that i can't do you know so it's nice Mm -hmm. to like fucking actually like have an audience even if they're just leaving comments it's still like almost yeah yeah it's like gratifying in a different way. It's not as good as hearing like laughs instantly back as your jokes, but you know, I get people commenting on my shit how much they love David Green. It's like what the fuck? He's <laughs> <laughs> blowing up. He's Dave, man. He's Dave. Everyone yeah. loves him. Everyone loves Dave. You can't go wrong with Dave. He's very, uh, he's very good, very good. And yeah, I don't, honestly, um, I I've seen some of the online shows and stuff, and I just I, I can't do it. There's just a I, I, I need a stage, right? There's like a, a fundamental part of the art that's missing at that point. And I just, I can't do it. Cause it's like, I'm watching, you know, like you're watching late night shows that have no live audience and you're like, oh, this is terrible. This is yeah, it's so weird. Audience. It's There's so like weird. no energy to feed off of. It's yeah. awful. 
that's why I didn't really like I didn't really want to do that like I was offered a couple and I wasn't really feeling that but like a podcast I feel like I could do because it's like you know you're not necessarily like trying to like you're just having a conversation you're not fucking trying to make like jokes and you don't need to hear that gratification you know yeah you can yeah, just talk like, about whatever this is like us having a smoke at a comedy club not us on stage at the comedy club you know what i mean that, that's true that's true not not as drunk but yeah that's, yeah that's, yeah that's yeah, that's sure. yeah it's yeah it's weird i've seen i've seen some of the shows it's just I, I don't think it's for me i'm gonna wait till like you know stage times back up and mm-hmm. everything like that that's part of it that's part of the fun for me and everything like that so yeah for i've basically sure. been like sticking to writing and this and getting yeah more and more mountain man yeah it looks sick dude (laughs) i fucking love it (laughs) (laughs) i'm growing mine back out trying (laughs) yeah 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 well you got that you know yeah rob Rob tricked you into that haircut i know it still looks so ridiculous and stupid but can't fix it now no, no, I'm well, stuck it, with it. No. Yeah, you can't do anything now. <laughs> yeah. It's like you have two options. Let it grow out because nothing matters anymore. Or shave yeah. your head because nothing matters anymore. Like, that's even with shaving it, you can't even like, Mike, I just did an episode with Mikey Hart. His mom shaved his head. There's like patches and stuff. I was like, <laughs> all right, there goes that option. I'm not having my mom shave oh, my man. head. It'd be even worse. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You may want to do it yourself. I'm just saying. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> My mom shaved my head. Was like, no, no, don't, don't. <laughs> no. That's that's a little rough. But uh, hey, advantage is living at home with your parents, right? She's like, mom shaved my head. She's like, eh, all right, fair enough. It'd be nicer to you less on shampoo, though. But I mean, I make up for that by showering once every three or four days. I don't know. All the days have sort of blended together now. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't really know. I, the only time I know what day it is is when I go outside and I see garbage on the street. If I see garbage on the street, oh, it's garbage day. Okay, done. All right, good. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. It's Thursday, Friday. Yeah, it's Thursday night. Maybe Friday. Yeah. Well, okay, good. I've got uh, my. Okay, I'm centered now. But other than that, like it's just like all the days are blended together. It's That's happened for me too, man. It's good to know that it's not just me going crazy. Well, maybe we're both going crazy, but at least it's nice to know someone else is having that because I was like, fuck, man. Mm-hmm. I was like, I don't even know close to what day it is. It's not like, is it Wednesday or Thursday? I'm like, it could be Wednesday, it could be Saturday, it could be Monday, it could yeah. be anything. <laughs> yeah. yeah, constantly. It's like, once you get to like Monday, I'm like, okay, my, I don't know. I don't know. Because mm, like, yeah. there's, no, there's nothing open, so you can't gauge anything by what's open. So you just, you're like, oh, I, I don't know. I, yeah. Sure. It doesn't, but it doesn't <laughs> matter because you can't go outside anyways. It's irrelevant. Yeah, it's crazy, point, bro. Which is it's freaky. It is absolutely uh-huh. 100 free, freaky. And uh, I don't know, it's super stressful too at the same time, right? Mm-hmm. It's like, not only is it is it freaking me out, but it gives me like brutal anxiety just thinking about it all the time. <laughs> it's wonderful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's not like I can go to a bar to get rid of the anxiety through alcohol. No, of course. You can go to the LCBO still it. if you want. Just yeah, no, I gotta, I gotta go at some point. Yeah. yeah. Just drink some bourbon. Cheers, buddy. <laughs> so I've been asking this uh, to everybody so far. I think I might have forgot someone, but uh, do you believe in ghosts? Uh, no, I don't believe in ghosts. You and Dan Brennan are the only two people so far that have said that. I think I don't think okay, I ever okay. asked I, Taylor. I, but... I changed. I, uh, I changed my answer. I do believe in ghosts. No, I, um, well, I I had a roommate. Uh, I had I had a couple of roommates back in the day who actually did firmly believe in ghosts, and a lot um, of people do. I, surprisingly, I was very yeah, surprised. Yeah, and I I lived in this I lived in this this townhouse, and uh, he, he swore it's like oh there's some noises, and I hear this little girl and stuff. But they were kind of like connected houses, you know. Mm. So I'm like, you probably just heard a little girl. <laughs> yeah, and, like, that... like you probably just heard a little girl, and it was like oh yeah. it's a ghost. I'm like it's not a ghost. Mm-hmm. Like what are you talking about? And so my my one roommate, he's like, he, he's telling me the story. He's like, okay, I swear to God, I saw a ghost. And I was like, sure, whatever. He's like, okay. So I'm coming out of my room. And he's at the end of the hall. And at the end of the very end of the hall, there's a bathroom door. And so he comes out of his room. And he's like, here's what I see. I'm looking. And I see this girl. And she's got a spinning wheel. Like, I guess like an old timey spinning wheel. And I'm like, okay. He's like, but it slowly blended into the door. And then she was gone. And I'm like, 
okay, that's kind of freaky. But he's like, I wasn't wearing my glasses. And I was pretty high. So and I was like, what are you talking about? It's not a ghost. Dude, I've had that feeling about? for like a second. And then you see what it really is. And then that <laughs> feeling goes away. I felt like, yeah. is this a ghost for like a second? You know, it's that feeling's never like lasted later for me to tell someone about it. You know, <laughs> at, at no point have I ever have I ever suspected a ghost. So the freakiest thing that's ever happened to me in my life is when I was uh, really young and I was up in north of my cottage, and but there's big, huge front window of the cottage, and I came out of my room and there was like hundreds of red little eyes from one end of the window to the other at the bottom. And it freaked me the fuck out. I don't even know. I could have been Holy treating. Shit. I could have it been, been bats. There. It could have been a swarm of fucking bats or something. Bats could have been a raccoon. I don't fucking know. Mm-hmm. All I know is like when I was a kid, that freaked me the fuck right out. And I was like, nope, I'm going back to bed. No way. And uh, I was just like, I, I, when I was a kid, because that's, that's around the time when everybody was really getting to UFOs and like alien abductions and it was everywhere. Mm-hmm. And so I was like, oh shit, aliens. And so I was like the first thought. And now when you think aliens, everyone's like, you're an idiot, right? Like, it's obviously the government. I've been asking a lot of people about that, too. Most people believe in aliens, too, bro. Um, I I believe that there is a possibility that there are aliens out there. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll say that, though. Yeah, 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 I'll say that. And, like, even they may have even visited our planet. But my assumption of aliens is, like, they came by and they looked at us and they went, terrible just this, this is embarrassing like what are you doing yeah. get out of here and they just left because they're like yeah you lower form of life my hope my hope right now is that there is an alien un up there somewhere and they're in the middle of debating whether they should come and help us out like that's what i want i want their debate to be like look at them they're idiots they can't even like judge their own climate they're like killing themselves we got to help them out and the other one's like nah, i don't think so no boots on the ground no, no, no. no like way, too, ground, yeah. way too expensive. We should do this the old-fashioned way. You know, it's like, I'm just hoping that, like, one of those things might happen, that there is a benevolent space entity organization up there that's going to be like, no, we're here to help you out. And How like, sick would that be? It's very unlikely, but it is possible. That would be so yeah. cool, fucking, to live through that as well. You know what I mean? What's going to be yeah. next after this? You know, there's going to um, be crazier shit, I bet. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, droughts like floods yeah. crazy weather like crazy climate like we have dealt with like, lots of that yeah day. this is like the first act of like yeah. what's going to be like a complete shit show for the next 30 years and i feel sorry for every kid who is alive right now because i'm going to be uh, dead yeah. by then so it'll be great it'll be great i'm out but i'm gonna die in a bread line or a food ride of some kind or get mad max don't get run over by a mad max truck you know it'll be something like that it'll be fine it'll be fine i'm out yeah, yeah, I say, yeah. i'm gonna be out for the worst of it i'm, I'm uh, yeah, I mean, no one's keeping you as their slave or anything like that. No. Okay. <laughs> With a slave, you either, you want two things from a slave. You either want sex, come on, that's no, or you want work. <laughs> yeah, and I, no, yeah. I, work or sex, no, that's two things I'm just, no, that's way too much effort. So yeah. no, I'm out. If it's like rewiring your network cables, okay, maybe. But most people don't have slaves. <laughs> yeah. They have an IT department and that's a, that's a whole thing. Yeah. I mean, I... I, I've always thought that, like, the thing about aliens that I always found really fascinating is that people, like, when people see aliens, and they're like, oh, aliens abducted me, and it's usually, like, some crazy, like, methed out trucker or some lonely housewife, right, who's like, oh, no, I've been abducted by an alien, and you're like, yeah, it's a cry for attention, but that's cool, you know, hey, you got your attention, that's cool, like, good, that's mm-hmm. fine, um, but I, I, I honestly think that, like, when it comes to aliens, I think there's, like, such an order of magnitude and difference to be like aliens. Because you look at like something like Star Trek, where Star Trek is like this whole thing, and but like everyone's on basically the same level, right? Like everyone's basically the same level. Mm-hmm. Where in, in reality, I would assume that like there'd be millions, if not billions, of years between like races, right? Yeah, so yeah. That would exactly. be like, like, what are they going to do? Like, how advanced are we going to be in, like, 10,000 years, right? We're, we're advanced in 10,000 years. What are they going to do? They're going to come here, and they're going to be like, oh, yeah, these guys are great. Yeah, this is – we want we, we want to be these guys. Yeah, they, they yeah. just split the atom and barely know how to fly. Mm-hmm. Let's get on board. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, man. I don't, I, I, if, it, if there's alien life out there, it's probably so incomprehensibly powerful that we just can't – we can't even fundamentally understand it. 
right or it's like microbes and shit you know like little microbes, yeah. bacteria and shit like that's and i think that's the only life we're ever gonna find out there and like that's I don't what that's about cool. like super troopers type of shit like in an insect type of life that can oh maybe yeah spread I, that'd be kind of I cool mean, i think yeah you could run into a situation um where you ran into like some sort of crazy insect alien race i guess but mm -hmm. at the same time you think about it i mean what the fuck would that be that would be that would suck that would be like, <laughs> yeah. yeah great I, like yeah, the yeah. giant fucking aliens like that's like running into dinosaurs <laughs> i mean it'd be pretty cool to run into a dinosaur right you'd be like oh yeah, cool yeah. dinosaurs but then you'd be like this is stupid they're just giant fucking lizards this is terrible and they're just in yeah. everything and they're in the way it's awful like that's what basically starship troopers is it's like yeah great <laughs> they're in the way fuck fucking goddamn bugs you know it's like yeah. it's a great movie by the way great fucking one of fantastic honestly that's paul verhoeven <laughs> one of paul verhoeven's classics classic movies and i cannot all right i highly recommend it it's great i think i already know the answer to this question but i feel like i should still ask all right what are your okay. thoughts on magic like do you think magic is hmm. possible well um you know arthur c clark he said that uh, any civilization with a significantly advanced amount of uh, uh, advanced amount of technology would be indistinguishable from magic. Right. Um, do do I believe that, like, but, but like for dragons and fireballs and shit? No, I don't believe in magic potions or anything like. Okay, what about if so, like no one can make me something like levitate? That's impossible, or uh... no, you can't yeah, levitate yeah. without technology. That's what I thought, if you yeah, have technology, yeah, okay, cool. sure, but no, no, I don't believe yeah, in yeah. magic. All right. <laughs> Like, no, 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 fuck magic. Magic's stupid. <laughs> you hear no, that, Devin? Not. Magic's stupid. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's, it's fun for kids. I mean, it's fun for yeah. kids, right? But <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. once you're an adult, you become a little bit more skeptical, and you're like, eh, this is just annoying. Yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, I'm trapped here for, like, 30 minutes watching this guy do card tricks. And some of them are really impressive, don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's not, not a thing for me. I'm not a. If I can avoid it, sometimes you can't. The thing that I hate most about magicians is that stealing tricks is okay. Like with comedians, you steal jokes. That's the worst thing ever. But magicians, if you you can just steal any other magician's tricks, you know, and you can become a millionaire off it. Like the guy who won America's Got Talent or whatever, didn't come up with any of those tricks. He's just, and now like he was even doing the same tricks and the same jokes as like mm -hmm. the other, and and he won a million dollars. And like got a huge career as a magician because he's like quick with his hands, I guess. And uh... I mean, when it comes to magic, because of the physical element of it, the actual um, ability to do right, it actual, is hard. Uh, yeah, the actual thing. There's actually some physicality to it. And there's some talent. But I think they should make their own tricks. You know what I mean? Yeah, but that's that's got to be hard though, right? There's yeah. got to be a, like a certain element where like, yeah, okay, listen, every trick's been done. Like, what are you going to do, a card trick? Who's who's inventing new card tricks? Right? Somebody probably, out there has got to be. Yeah. There's infinite possibilities with cards. There's some crazy-ass shit, right? Well, you got to think so. But at the same time, like, how are you going to get into that, right? That's like, you know, like, okay, invent a card trick. And then you got to go through a literal, like, four 400-year catalog of people doing it card tricks and being like, okay, I got I to gotta make a new art trick. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ma magic is like... Magic is like the an academic sphere, right? Okay, we can compare magic to like a university in a way. You're never going into university to reinvent the wheel. You're not going to do anything new. You're not going to do anything spectacular. You're not going to have any new ideas because everything's already been done. So basically what you're doing is you're just riffing on stuff that everyone's already done. Well, so you could say that about comedy too, but I think you can come up with stuff that hasn't been done. I th and I think at its heart, comedy is about the writing and the presentation. And occasionally, two people are going to come up with the same joke. That's just, that's inevitable. Or very right? similar. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You'll come up with a very similar joke. And then at that point, it comes down to, to who, who wants to claim dominion on it or can they, right? And that's, that's going to be like a, uh, you know, a William Shakespeare sort of deal. It's like, if Shakespeare did it, no one gives a shit who did it before or after Shakespeare. Right, yeah. They only care that Shakespeare did it. That's the only people mm -hmm. they care about. Nobody cares about the guy before and the guy after. Nobody gives a shit. So in many ways, I, I think that's kind of like what, what comedy's like. Generally, it's the guy who gets, you know, who gets the Netflix special doing the joke first. 
unfortunately, in many cases, ends up landing and saying, like, I did the most of that joke. It's mine now, right? Well, I feel like, like with comedians, there is, like, a lot of integrity. Like, I don't really see too much joke theft going on, at least, like, in our community. I've, no, like, I have, like, everyone seems pretty original. There's a lot of people that are pretty bad, and they don't even steal <laughs> jokes to get better. <laughs> Agreed, agreed. But at the same time, that is that is good to be like, hey, you're trying yeah. your own thing. Maybe try something else. Pottery. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Magic, maybe try a magic podcast. Thing. Maybe yeah, try. maybe a podcast. Magic you know, thing. Is, yeah. <laughs> I think I, I think everyone's like everyone's going. Even bad comedians are fine. Like I like I like bad comedians that have like well written jokes that are just like either it's their presentation is bad or their like presence is bad. Um, but they actually have made a really well-crafted joke. And I love when I hear a joke from somebody who's just terrible and they're just awful on stage. But then you hear the joke and you're like, that is so good. And you're like, do I take that? Is that a kernel of something that I could use (laughs) or should I not? And, and sometimes like that's, that's a challenge, right? You can't take it because it's their joke and you just, you know, maybe they'll retire and it'll be fine. But I mean, (laughs) Yeah, I, I, I mean, in a comedy, I think there's inevitabilities that you end up kind of falling on somebody else's toes. Um, right. You step on somebody else's toes, you'll come up with a similar joke. But I think, especially in our community, everybody's very good at communicating. And there's like not mm-hmm. very, there's not too many venues. So it isn't like you're going to go and be like work at a different circuit of clubs and be like, oh, we never ran into each other with this joke. I mean, wow, this isn't New York, you know? It's not like you can be doing a joke on one side of town and literally never see that other person who's doing the same joke. Right. And it's just like 25 years later, you and Seinfeld are sitting in a car going like, hey, what the fuck, man? That's my joke. And I'm like, oh, that's my joke. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's never going to happen around here, right? People but there is like, so hey. many different possibilities of shit to think of too, right? Like even mm-hmm. something um, that might seem so simple, you might never have seen before. Like with you, I remember – you did this like a couple times. You just set a subject right at the beginning and your all your jokes were kind of just had to do with that thing you said at the beginning. And I was like, oh, that's so fucking cool. And I like, I never thought of doing that. You know what I mean? Just, I think Seven one was you, like, yeah, it was, it was sick, man. Yeah, I, I tend to, I think that's uh, more of just because of the way I write. That's my style. That's not really like... I just happened to do that because I found when I started out, I was like bouncing around all over the place and it was mm-hmm. fun. But at the same time, I had a lot like I had a lot more jokes to write about a specific subject, but they couldn't really fit in other places. You know, it's not like you can really throw certain stuff into other sets because it just right. it's like it's funny on only within like that context that you're talking about this one thing for so long sometimes. Even. Yeah. Is yeah. Trying to like, say? yeah. 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 Like if I'm talking about choking and if I'm talking about choking in Star Wars, there has to be like that, you know, that that, that introduction. Like, you know, the setup has mm-hmm. to be there to move it. And then once we get to the theme, it's like, okay, we understand what the theme is here. And I set sort of the, the setup and the ground rules for the next joke. So I don't have to worry about being like, okay, this is going to be a joke about Star Wars. And I was just talking about pizza. Now we turn, we do Star Wars. It's just like, that doesn't work. Right. And it's like, a lot of yeah. Time. Now I just want to get a pizza and watch some Star Wars. God damn it. You know? I mean, all of them are terrible. So, sure. Yeah, I know. I haven't even watched like the last two new ones or whatever. It's like, I just um, gave up. I think, I, I think the, I, I could be controversial here and I'll say The Last Jedi was okay. It wasn't a super terrible movie. Everybody's going to freak out when they hear this. going to be like, what a piece of shit. What a Nobody's going to watch this, bro. Don't worry. <laughs> They're not getting uh, yeah. this far. They're, we've been talking for a while. I know. Unless, <laughs> uh, unless of course, uh, Dave Green's you know, Dave Green's name gets mentioned at some point. It's like, oh my God, Dave Green's mentioned it. Yeah, point, exactly. This point, yeah. At this point in the podcast, yeah. stay tuned for these. Um, yeah, I mean, they're, they're, uh, I, I think that most cinema now is like really cynical and kind of crowd pleasing. Like in all the Star Wars movies kind of turned into that. Where it's mm-hmm. just like, hey, look, Chewbacca's yeah, back. That. And you're like, who yeah. cares? Fuck Chewbacca. Mm-hmm. Chewbacca doesn't even have any lines. He just growls. He's he's not a character. He's and then just- the like you can predict the ending because you know like the main characters aren't gonna <laughs> die. It's like I just yeah. hate how it's like I hate predictability in movies and stories and stuff. It's not that hard to be original, but it's like they just want money, right? That's yeah, they're More very risk averse though. Art. It's yeah. it's it's hard with studios being risk averse because you look at something like Marvel and you look at something like Star Wars and you mm-hmm. see, oh yeah, these are billion dollar franchises. 
you know, they're not going to spend $250 million on a movie that they don't think is going to work. Right. right? Exactly. They're not going to be like, well, we have this new adaptation of Jane Austen movie. Um, it's, it's Jane Austen. I mean, it's, it's pride and prejudice, but hear me out. It's also lots of CGI. And like, yeah, that's, yeah. You know, you're not, you're not going to try to do something like that. It's right. Like right. A professor who loves Jane Austen, but they're, they're just not going to take any of those risks. Right. So you're going to see movies like the lighthouse and you're going to see like, you know, good indie films. And then you're going to see these really big budget films. You're not really going to see anything in between anymore because just right. nobody's going to take any chances making that. Shit. I do like those Marvel movies. though. like to their credit, like the star Wars has gone to the shit, but I think Marvel, like, uh, all their shit's still pretty good. I think they had the advantage of being like the first one is really going to have this really continuous storyline right. through the franchise. And and they were the first ones to do it, and that's why it works so well. But they're um, also they doing it right. They could fuck up, you know what I mean? It's not hard to fuck up. Uh, they, they fucked up a couple of times. There's been a couple of times that they've, they've kind of fucked right, up yeah, but in, like... in these films. And like... I mean, uh, I'm not. I wasn't a huge fan of Black Panther. I didn't think Black Panther was a very good movie. I mean, it it was okay, but where it was located in in whole fam, and we already have like the movie where he's like, oh yeah, I kicked the shit out of the Winter Soldier, and it's like, okay, I don't care about like why are you showing me all this new origin story stuff about Wakanda? I like. Mm-hmm. Actually, yeah. I missed that one. I didn't watch. There's a lot of Marvel movies to keep okay. up. Well, then you don't even know, man. <laughs> like, what are you doing? There's so many, man. That, like, you're in quarantine with your parents, and you haven't been watching movies. What is wrong with you? I know, I know. I've been trying to do the YouTube grind, bro. I even, uh, <laughs> I, I unsubbed from anybody like over a hundred thousand subscribers. I'm just like. Wow. I'm, I'm trying to only focus on supporting like smaller channels, right? Because if I want people to support me, I have to support them. I feel like, you know, I mean, I should be able to like, if I want as a small channel to get support, I should be willing to support other small channels. Yeah, for sure, man. I, I mean, that makes Plus, that makes I don't sense. have to watch ads now. None of their videos have ads on them, so that's nice. <laughs> Just get an ad blocker. Why do you, what, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I, I, haven't seen, I haven't seen a YouTube advertisement since forever i mean just get one i yeah. had one but it stopped working and then i didn't want to download a new one i thought like youtube found a way to stop my ad blocker oh they're always trying trust me they are always trying to get you ads and you're just like i'm never gonna watch anything or buy anything from youtube ever i i don't see why but they're like nope you might want to buy this car trust me it's I don't really mind watching good. ads for adam wickens he gets money it's like i know he's getting paid for it so i'm like all right i'll sit through this crappy ad of something that i'll never buy you know what i mean yeah and that's different though that's like that's you know yeah. friend, he's a member of the community and you're obviously gonna sit through ads because it's like oh yeah that's that's yeah. good i mean that's fine have you, have you seen any of his videos i have not seen any of his videos i do not spend a lot of time on youtube that's a big i don't mind hear this bro i, I guess <laughs> i don't spend a lot of time i could see the guy in real life if i want to talk yeah. to him about reptiles i can just be like hey man what about <laughs> spotted anaconda boobler or whatever and i'd be like i'll just do that you know that's the weird thing about it be like oh man i've got this channel without all this stuff i'd be like okay listen i don't really have any interest in reptiles so i'm not gonna watch your channel neither did i neither did i i'm just gonna i'm just gonna ask you yeah yeah but it's cool man it's 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 cool like you might learn some like like snakes got two dicks did you know that i i did not know that but now I do, so now yeah, I have no see? reason to watch it. You're actually you're like undercutting Wiccan's business right now by giving it away for free, bro. God damn. God. Horrible, he doesn't even dude. say that. He tries to keep it family friendly, but he told me that. Oh, dude. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I could see that. I could see, I'd be pissed too. Giving away all the shit for free. It's ridiculous. Yeah. ridiculous. <laughs> honestly, I just, I'm not an animal person, so it's just whatever. But like, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't see the ads anyway, so it's kind of pointless for me to watch it i guess i don't know like i could i guess i don't know well, Maybe I guess, I should. yeah he might get like watch time and shit still i don't know how any of this works i'm trying to figure yeah. out the Dude, youtube I didn't, I didn't even know how this fucking worked i thought i had to sign up for a bunch of shit obviously i've given my email to a bunch of chinese companies and they're gonna send me stuff hopefully Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> yeah i've been hacked i don't know it's not a big deal i don't really have anything so hack away same like yeah 
Well, I guess like by like hack me as an investment in case I ever get stuff. <laughs> <laughs> like we'll just hold on to this for now and not let them know that we have access to all this shit, you know. Imagine getting a picture twenty five years from now and they're like, Senator, we have this blackmail on you and you're like, What is this? <laughs> Yeah. And this is you masturbating during a Zoom meeting, and you're like, okay, sure. Uh, okay, fine. Damn. I shouldn't have done that. It's hard, then, man. <laughs> how many people have, like, been openly, like, white supremacists and shit? They still keep their jobs. Like, nobody cares. It's like, oh, we blackmailed yeah. this guy. It's like, yeah, whatever. Good luck. Nobody cares anymore. No one cares. All right. You is it ironic that they blackmail the white supremacists? I don't know. Uh, I think so. I think so. I think, <laughs> but I, I think so. But I think that would be even better for them because they'd be like, oh, yeah, we're blackmailing you. <laughs> Take that, Nazi. And to be fair, you should be allowed to blackmail a Nazi. I mean, that's fine, right? Yeah, anything against okay. a Nazi. Just kick him in the nuts, you know? Yeah, like they're free. They're, they're free. They're free to do things, too. You're fine. Like, you can have sex with a Nazi. You just can't date them. That's fine. That's, that's <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's okay. Don't date them. Have sex with them. It's fine. Don't date them. What? <laughs> That's an understood. That's an understood premise. Don't have sex okay? with them either. Have sex with Tim Patton instead. Okay, yes, I guess. Yeah. But like not not if you're into having sex with white supremacists, because I'm yeah. not one. But I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Your hair is way too long. They would not yeah. approve of that shit. Yeah, I'm not uh, like uh, yeah. You I, can't I, even I, say you ever were one because you've never had your head shaved. They could no. tell that is your hair since birth. <laughs> no, yes, yes. I, I came out like this with my beard. Yeah. My mom was like, what the hell? I was just like, I'll see you later. I'm out of here. I got to go pick up a pack of cigarettes at the store. All right, see ya. I'm out. Man, I miss smoking, though. That's the one thing I do miss. I've been smoking, like, way too much now. I miss yeah. sm- giving my smokes away to you and Dan Brennan. I know. I love it. I mean, I love, I love smoking other people's cigarettes, and yeah. I, really, I really miss it. Mm. I was very close to buying a pack of cigarettes, and I think I should because it's the season. And I mean, I should. And I normally buy one pack of cigarettes a year. It's like, yeah, you know, one pack of cigarettes a year, get it out of your system. And you remember why it's terrible to smoke because you're like, oh, I've been smoking. Yeah, it's like that one hot dog you eat a year, right? When you go camping and they're like, oh, I remember hot dogs are shit. <laughs> <laughs> <You know? laughs> yeah, it's like, oh my God. Yeah, it's exactly like that, dude. <laughs> it's like, that's what I do. That's what I do at KFC. One year, once per year, I yeah. get a bucket from Kentucky Fried Chicken. You just gotta I remind yourself how bad it is. I work out once a yeah. year, you know, and, and I'm like, oh, this is why I, I never get in shape. It sucks. It goes like right through you. It goes just right through <laughs> you. Just eat it, and it's just like out. It just falls out your asshole, and you're like, oh god. And it just, you're, just, you're, <laughs> yeah. done. you're done. And I just don't even remember. It's like you spent forty dollars on chicken at this place. Yeah, and you bro. just you just shit it all out. It was terrible. But it's a good Pretty reminder. sure I seen like a full piece of the skin in the toilet once. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I thought my ass it. was shedding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, gross! They're terrifying. <laughs> yeah. Terrifying at the same time. That's all, <laughs> just awful. That's that's crazy though. I mean, that's I mean, you just do you do it once a year, and you're like, it's fine, and it's okay, yeah. and. Then you're just like, it reminds you. And then you forget a year later, and that's just the way humanity works. Mm-hmm. You know, the Nazis back, so we forgot about that. Right? So, <laughs> yeah, fuck. Yeah, we just forgot about that. Oops. I mean, yeah, it was good to move on to other subjects. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any of those stupid questions that I have left that I haven't asked yet. Oh, I think I got one. Yeah, what do you think about Epstein, bro? Let's hear your Epstein thoughts. Jeffrey, oh, the the guy who got murdered in a cell or whatever. Yeah, yeah, like, exactly. Yeah, like he killed himself. I don't know, man. Who the fuck knows anymore? <laughs> yeah, all right, all right. Seriously, <laughs> he could be. He could have killed himself. Maybe, maybe he didn't kill himself and they killed him. Yeah. But like, I look at it in the same way I look at the Kennedy assassination. Right. The Kennedy assassination. I think honestly, Lee Harvey Oswald killed Kennedy, but I think that like at the time. Nobody knew whether they had enough evidence to prosecute him. So they were just like, fuck it. We'll just make some shit up, right? We know this guy did it, but we're just going to make some shit up. So like if we have photographs, we'll make him a communist, magic bullets. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's, it's good. And magic I, think that's his, yeah. I think it's the same with Epstein. I think the guards were just like, yeah, I don't care about this piece of shit. If he kills himself, yeah. who cares? And then he killed himself and they're like, ah, oh, shit. 
No, it goes deeper than that, bro. Like, the cameras weren't working and shit. He was already on suicide watch. But, like, the uh, way I think... Incompetence, though. Like, maybe, maybe. Incompetence. Yeah, I guess, like, you never really know anything is possible, right? Well, it's just no, not, not anything is possible, but... Yeah. Well, true knowledge is knowing you know nothing, right? It's possible that uh, we're Shut all just up. in the Matrix or some bullshit. <laughs> Don't fucking be quoting fucking Plato and Socrates. And, yeah, and Socrates. Like, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. oh, we don't know anything. That guy was an idiot, and he drank hemlock and died. Okay? Yeah. He's a moron. Socrates he didn't believe in writing shit down. He thinks he thought you should pass everything on through spoken word. How yeah, fucked up is that? It, no, it made perfect sense because he was getting paid to be a philosopher. Yeah. So the last thing he wanted was for everyone to write his stuff down and then they wouldn't need him anymore. Oh, true. Yeah, exactly. Right. Especially when his sayings are so short like that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like, yeah. it's like that, that weird Socratic, you know, that weird Socratic thing like, oh, is a duck wet? Man, I wish I was still a job. It used to be a job that there was like just a bunch of philosophers that'd sit around and talk shit, and they would just get paid to do that. Dude, there is a job like that, and it's called being a philosopher. (laughs) You get paid to do it. You just do it in an academic setting or like in workshops and shit. Well, yeah, it's not the same. I I feel like they're just chilling, drinking wine. You know what I mean? And they were like the king shits. They were like the celebrities. Oh, Oh yeah. For sure, like, yeah. Socrates is roaming around, he just has his dick swinging out, he's just like... Joe oh. Rogan's like the new Socrates, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh. Uh, Joe Rogan. Yeah, I don't know bro. what to make, I, I don't know what to make of Joe Rogan, I'm like assuming he's like, and sometimes he's okay, and then there's other weird shit that happens, I don't know, I never know what to I do. like his podcast, man. He, fucking, I've listened to so many, though. Way too many. Hmm. Let me ask you a question. Here's here's my question for you. Yeah, Sam. no one's asked me a question yet. Eight episodes in. First question. And this is very important. And I think like and I because I see you play chess with Dave and stuff. Like yeah, that. yeah. Do you prefer chess on the computer or chess in real life? Chess in real life. Why? Uh I don't know. It's just like um like me and me and David, I only play David, right? I actually don't even like play anyone else. Fucking, that's just like how we became friends. He's like, he really got into chess. He's like, so when we started, he would bring his chess board everywhere, and we would play at the bar. We would have drinks. We'd get like nachos. He would just like, he was bringing that stupid chess board everywhere. He actually got a new one and gave me that old one. And uh, oh, nice. yeah, we play online, but it's like not the same. You know what I mean? It's like fucking when you play in real life it's like you're just only focused on that but online i can't help but like listen to music maybe you have a podcast playing and then like i'll be like on facebook waiting for david to do his turn or whatever <laughs> but in real life it's like i'll actually like i'm just forced to sit there and think about the game even during david's turn you know makes uh, sense yeah. It's a good answer. It's a good answer to a stupid, stupid question. It was a long ass fucking. Yeah, usually I don't get into that much detail and shit, but <laughs> no, no, no. I, 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 I'm fine, man. Seriously, again, like we're we're all in this like dumpy quarantine bullshit, and mm. we have no idea when it's gonna come to an end. Yeah, um, maybe never, bro. Who knows? I mean, people are saying, oh, it's the new normal. Maybe it won't be. It'll be that way till October mm. or December or you know next year. It'll be even worse. And you're like, oh. Oh God, no! Mm-hmm. Why? Why is this happening? But at the same time, you realize, like, you know, we fucked up, so it's fine. It's good. But, and in a way, some yeah. good is coming out of it, right? Like, like you said, all the animals are back and shit. <laughs> Fucking yeah. like the air is cleaner. You know, we're not ca- causing as much damage and shit. People aren't wasting their fucking money doing as much stupid shit, I think. Uh, yeah. There's less cars on the road. There's less yeah. people just, like, just fucking around. I mean, I see people out, but they're, like, you know, they're keeping their distance and everything mm-hmm. like that. But, I mean, I love living in a city, and I love city life. And so yeah. this has been kind of, like, this is, like, what I imagine living in the country's like. Right. Except more virus, I guess. I don't know. Because mm-hmm. you just, like, you go outside, and it's, like, animals everywhere, like, Cats and raccoons and skunks. Like skunks everywhere, man. 
Like seriously, I just really? I don't stop consistently. They're my neighborhood is lousy <laughs> with them. They charge at me too. I didn't realize that skunks have very poor eyesight. So I was just like, I thought the skunk was pissed at me. It was just this, no, the skunk just couldn't see me. He just run straight at me. What? I was like, oh my God, I'm going to die. And, it's like, and oh, I feel like. He sees me and he's like, oh shit. <laughs> That's some sort yeah. of like bear wearing clothes, I assume. It's some sort yeah. of bear clothed guy. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. It's good. They're like fucking, they're noticing that there's less people, I think, or something. And they're fucking just thinking they're free to do whatever the fuck they want now. I mean, good on, good on them. Yeah. Know, honestly, <laughs> have at it. Have at it, man. Like, just don't yeah. don't don't get too close to me because it freaks me out. Just the skunks. Like, I like the yes. raccoons. The raccoons are fun. Raccoons, raccoons are fucking are fun. nuts, dude. I've seen raccoons do some crazy ass shit. Are very smart. Very raccoons, smart there's a video of a raccoon climbing up a skyscraper, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, look that shit up. It's nuts. No, man. He's just in it for the YouTube views. No, that's just a publicity <laughs> stunt. No way. I got it. It's real. It happened like a year ago, I think. He's I just they were drinking Red Bull. He's just, he's, uh, he's Red Bull. He's, uh, he's a Red Bull fucking raccoon. Yeah. <laughs> sponsored by Red Bull. It's extreme. You know, it freaks me out those videos where like the Russian guys basically like stand on the edge of skyscrapers without equipment and then they jump from like corner to corner of a skyscraper or they're out on oh, ledges and fuck. shit. Crazy. Yeah. The Russians are insane. They're just yeah, insane. People. That's crazy, bro. They're Fucking Do you remember your last comedy set you did? Do you remember how it went? Mm. Yes, I do. Uh, my last comedy set was at uh, Kaz's. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was at Kaz's. It wasn't the um, Showtime competition. No, I don't. I didn't. Mine, mine was the last week, and it was. Canceled. Oh shit! Me too. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I was planning on going out in the first round, and getting drunk, but then it was like, oh, it's canceled. It's like, great, awesome. Now I have well, to sit for it's, a while. It's postponed. It might get picked up again. So. I mean, we don't know. it's it's fine if it's. I mean, it's fine if it's canceled. Dave did Dave did such a great job and everything like that, and I'd hate mm-hmm. to have him to like have to redo literally everything. It's just like, eh, yeah, it it does suck for him because he got so many like flyers and shit printed that he can't use all the shit he paid for. Yeah, yeah, and that's like you know, I mean, he should be able to get some of that money back. The government no, always giving money insurance, to right? He didn't get insurance. No one really? was getting pandemic insurance, bro. Well, obviously. <laughs> yeah, Are you sure you don't want the pandemic insurance? It could happen. Like, pff, no way. <laughs> give me, give me the tornado and earthquake insurance. Yes, yes, that yeah. could happen. Yeah. But no, no. Yeah, I mean that that sucks, and uh, I mean that that just unfortunately, like so much shit has gone just so piss poorly for so many people so rapidly. Yeah. And I mean, the government kind of fucking dropped the ball all over the place. And I mean, they were doing the best they can, I guess. They could have done a lot better, but I mean, okay. I mean, some people are getting money, I guess. Great, cool. But I mean, they could have really helped out people a lot better, but that's just me. This is why I don't vote. (laughs) (laughs) Because all the parties are garbage. Yeah, bro, especially my parties. They're the worst. No one ever comes. <laughs> <laughs> That's because you never invite me, all right? Yeah. You don't invite me to your parties. I'm going to sit right, in your kitchen party. and talk about communism the entire day. Yeah. It'll be great. I'll talk about Marxism. It'll be great. <laughs> Everyone will have a great time. My mom said I have to have a party for everybody that helped me out with the YouTube shit when this shit's over. So you can okay. come to that. Sure, sounds good. Yeah. I'll absolutely, one hundred percent. Come to that, I guess. Yes. Yeah. And I will drink your booze and smoke your cigarettes. Do it for sure. Yeah. Bump for some you, my friend. Them. For you. All right. Gotta gotta make okay. sure to support the community. It's great, man. It's great. So, what are you doing? Like, what else are you doing? Uh, this is it, bro. Just fucking. Nice. I just try to post a video on YouTube every day, and then. Um, try to support my friends and shit. Uh, just eat a bunch of food. I eat a lot. I sleep a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I jerk that's off a I lot, do. to be honest. <laughs> yeah, that's it, man. That's that's my life. I mean, I I, I smoke a lot of cigarettes. 
I eat five meals a day. I mean, I eat five meals a day. I sleep every four yeah. hours. <laughs> yeah. I wake up and I go, I'm like, nah, go back to bed. And I just go back to bed. And then I wake up and I'm like, nah, and I go back to bed. And then I watch like TV for eight hours and just stare at the ceiling. It's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> it feels, oh. <laughs> Yo, so next brutal. time you're about to pass out, put on one of my podcasts. Hook me some watch time, you know? <laughs> Uh, you know what? I, I will absolutely 100% give you some watch time. I'll just put it out in the background. Yes. I'll mute the tab. I won't have to Do listen it. to my own voice. <laughs> it'll be great. Thanks, like, buddy. What happened? All he did was sit there and drink <laughs> bourbon the entire time. It was awesome. It was, it was awesome. Fun. Yeah, it is awesome. Fuck, man. I wish I had some more wine, but I don't want to go get it because yeah. then there will be um, an awkward silence. But uh, we've been talking sing. for a while. Oh yeah, sing? yeah, like, sure. Uh, fuck it, sing, and I'll go. No, it's fine. Somewhere. It's yeah. fine. <laughs> I'll, I'll only sing "Foreigner." That's it. Um, no, man, this is this is cool. I would like to. I like to do this again because it's it's nice to talk to other. Yeah, people you're fucking it's... great, bro. This is definitely one of my favorites <laughs> out of the eight. It was it was pretty fucking fun. I'm not gonna lie. I, was, was... I love I, I love you, man. You're you're always a good too, time, buddy. man. And I do yeah. rib you, and I do give you a lot of shit. That's Most what I appreciate, man. I hate those bullshitters that are just like always super nice all the time. Real friends, you know, they're a little bit mean. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Or a lot. Or a yeah, lot sometimes yeah, in my yeah. case. But, you know, yeah. <laughs> the only way you'll learn. That's important. Exactly. Yeah. I need that yeah. tough love, you know? <laughs> it's great, man. It's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So have me on again. We should actually have a theme next time we do it. Like, yeah, that's fuck that's yeah, what I bro. Like to do. Let's have a theme. Um, it'd be cool if you uh if you hop on the checkmates. Me and David are still doing that. He is getting a little too famous for me, but uh, I think we're doing one tomorrow with Chanel if she answers. Um, okay. But yeah, yeah, I'll, yeah. If you were to hop on checkmates, that'd be fucking sick. You'd be great on there. Um. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Sick, man. And then we can do that soon. All right. Finish my bourbon. You're the best, bro. Later, bro. Peace.